Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to take a backup of a single table in MySQL or MariaDB by using C MySQL Dumper. So let's uh, take a look on syntax, uh, how the syntax look like uh, to take the backup of single table. Uh, so we will start with the MySQL Dumper. Then we will say dash dash user and then provide the username, whatever the username, maybe root or backup user. Then you say dash dash password uh, equal to and then provide the password. Uh, and then you have different options such as a log table or skip log tables etc so you want to take a look on those uh, different parameters then uh, you have to provide uh, the database name and then the table name uh, for which you would like to take the backup uh, this is a really great scenario where you have a lot of tables in one database and you would like to take uh, the backup of only single that table and uh, would like to restore maybe on different server and here you will be providing the path of the directory or file where the backup need to go. In my case, I'm saying uh, it should go in temp and uh, the file name should be file name dot SQL. So let's uh, take a look on uh, some real time example here. So let me clear this. Let me log into the MariaDB or MySQL. And then uh, from there we can take a look. So if I will say I have uh, different uh, databases, I have test database underscore one. Uh, let me clear this uh, so we can see and the show tables it will show us a list of tables I have two tables and I can take the counter of these tables so you can see how many records are in this uh, uh, t these tables or in each of the table select count and uh, star from test one okay so we notice that uh, test uh, has a lot more records uh, here and uh, test one has only one record uh, great now we will take the backup of both tables one by one i'm going to exit from here and in the terminal clear this uh, screen and uh, now i have already prepared the script uh, uh, to take the backup of a test uh, uh, table i will uh, use that one so let me paste here so I'm saying MySQL dump, uh, then uh, dash dash user, and I'm using a uh, user backup user. In previous video, I showed you how to create the backup user with the password and grant the permissions. Uh, so you can take a look on that one. And uh, then you have a password, and uh, my password for the backup user is test123. I'm saying, okay, lock the table while you take the backup. Uh, okay, if you want to skip it, you can skip it. And uh, then uh, my database name is uh, testdb underscore one, and table name is a uh, test, uh, where I would like to save. I would like to under the root where there is a directory called mysql backup and i would like to name this backup a test.sql okay great let's hit enter we did it now i'm going to go ahead and just repeat the same process for a second table so i'm going to say test one just to show you guys a little bit okay now we have uh, uh, taken the backup for both tables and uh, let's go to the MySQL backup directory and here we have uh, both files. Um, so you can see that the size of the test.sql file is great, greater than uh, the test1 because there are a lot more records in this uh, um, table than uh, test1. Okay, So you can also kind of read uh, the definition or whatever the SQL statements are in this uh, file um, so if you would like to do that uh, you what you need to do you will say cat and test uh, one dot sql it will show you all the scripts uh, what's uh, are inside that so you can see that it is creating a table then it will be loading uh, that table with the insert statements um, all right uh, so uh, this is it for today and i will see you guys uh, in the uh, next video